Sure thing. Ever thought about what it'd be like to become as tiny as an ant? Well, in the 1957 movie, The Incredible Shrinking Man, that's exactly what happens to the main character. He shrinks smaller and smaller, having all sorts of crazy adventures along the way. But this isn't just any sci-fi movie, it's full of funny, surprising, and even sad moments that'll keep you glued to the screen. Now, tell me which classic Hollywood actor in this movie did you like the most? Was it the main guy, or one of the other characters who stood out to you? And what do you think makes this movie a lasting symbol of the film industry? As you watch this old time favorite, look out for those moments that touch your heart or make you laugh out loud. And hey, why not share your favorite memory or personal story about this movie? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. So grab some popcorn and get ready for a unique adventure. The Incredible Shrinking Man is going to take you on a journey you won't forget anytime soon. The movie The Incredible Shrinking Man, released in 1957, still matters today because it talks about big ideas and uses cool effects. The story is about a guy who starts getting smaller after some strange stuff happens. As he gets tinier, he has to deal with all sorts of problems and think about life and death. One reason this movie still matters is that it touches on fears and struggles that everyone can relate to. The guy's journey is like facing fears of losing control, identity, and feeling important in a huge world that doesn't care much about him. These are things people worry about no matter when they live. The movie also wowed people with its special effects. They made tiny models and used clever camera tricks to make the guy look like he's shrinking. It's still impressive even today, and inspires other movie makers. But beyond just looking cool, the incredible shrinking man makes you think. It asks big questions about why we're here, what life means, and where we fit in the universe. These questions stick with you, making you wonder about your own life. So, the incredible shrinking man is still worth watching because it talks about stuff we all care about, looks awesome, and makes you think about life. The Incredible Shrinking Man, a movie released in 1957, is notable for various reasons. Directed by Joe Dante, he later collaborated with the director on several other projects, including Twilight Zone, the movie, Gremlins, Interspace, Matinee, and the Second Civil War. Additionally, the book they fought in the Creature Features contains an interview with the protagonist. In the casting process, producers considered Mara Corday for the role of Louise Carey, which she deemed thankless. These insights shed light on the movie's production and the perspectives of those involved. The Incredible Shrinking Man, released in 1957, is a film that underwent significant changes from its original source material, Richard Matheson's book. Matheson initially structured the narrative as a series of flashbacks, but Universal Studios opted for a linear storyline. The film stars Grant Williams as Scott Carey, a man who mysteriously begins to shrink in size. Despite Matheson's original intent for flashbacks, the studio preferred a straightforward narrative. Additionally, Universal rejected several sequences deemed too risque for the time, including interactions with a female midget, a drunk homosexual, and a gang of teenagers. One of the actors, Billy Luigi Curto Curtis, had a unique journey to the screen. He worked in a shoe shop before being encouraged by Shirley Booth to pursue acting. Interestingly, Curto and the shop owner's families were neighbors and their children played together. Furthermore, during the 1940s, Schallert was involved with Los Angeles The Group Theater, akin to New York's The Actor Studio. His experience included appearing in a production of Rain directed by Charles Chaplin. Despite these changes and behind-the-scenes stories, The Incredible Shrinking Man remains a notable film in science fiction history, exploring themes of identity and survival. It continues to captivate audiences with its unique premise and storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on the genre. The Incredible Shrinking Man is notable for its appearances in various iterations of the Twilight Zone TV series, including Mr. Bevis and the 1985 revival series. It also featured in the Twilight Zone, the movie. The closing soliloquy delivered by Scott Carey was an addition by director Jack Arnold. Additionally, the character Martin Lane portrayed by William Shallard in The Patty Duke Show was ranked 39 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time in June 2004. Initially, Universal asked Dan O'Herlihy to play the role of Scott, but he said no. Eventually, they found another good actor for the part. In the movie version, they changed the dangerous creature from a black widow to a tarantula, which was different from the original idea in Richard Matheson's book. This change added more tension to the story and made it scarier for the audience. William Schaller, who played Dr. Arthur Bramson, was the last surviving cast member until he passed away in 2016. 
The movie, The Incredible Shrinking Man, still interests people with its timeless themes and unique storytelling, securing its place in movie history for years to come. This detailed story gives a better understanding of how the movie was made and why it's still popular today. Enjoy this classic tale of survival against big challenges. In The Incredible Shrinking Man, Charlie drives a cool 1956 Chrysler New Yorker convertible, adding a vintage touch to his adventures. As he gets smaller, everyday objects become big dangers like the giant scissors, nails, and mousetrap. These things are remembered for showing how his life changes. Imagine feeling cold because your body can't keep warm when you shrink. It's scary and makes things harder for Charlie, making the story more tense. Charlie's journey is not just about staying alive, but also about finding himself and staying strong when things get tough. It's a story that makes us think about our own lives and how fragile they can be. The movie isn't just about sci-fi stuff. It's also about what it means to be human and how we deal with tough times. Charlie's story teaches us that being brave and adaptable matters more than how big or small we are. Richard Matheson, the mind behind The Incredible Shrinking Man, crafted a screenplay for a sequel titled The Fantastic Shrinking Girl. This script envisioned Louise Carey embarking on her own shrinking journey. Despite Universal's initial plans to produce it, the project met its demise. In 1971, Matheson received the OBIE Award for Distinguished Performance for his work in the trial of Catonsville 9 off-Broadway in New York City. Before joining the cast of the Beverly Hillbillies, Matheson often appeared without his toupee in many roles. The actor appeared alongside Harry Hamlin in the premiere production of The Playhouse in Los Angeles at the Falcon Theater. He passed away just over a month after the death of his on-screen daughter, Patty Duke. Both actors also held the position of president of the Screen Actors Guild. Among his many roles, he is best known for portraying Nils Barris, the Federation Undersecretary of Agricultural Affairs, in a Star Trek episode titled The Trouble with Tribbles. In The Incredible Shrinking Man, the main character goes by the name Scott. Interestingly, another movie featuring a shrinking man, Ant-Man, also has a main character named Scott. Scott played by the actor who later appeared in The Trouble with Tribbles and Inner Space, has had quite a unique career. He's one of only two actors to have roles both in Outer Space and Inner Space alongside Robert Picaro. One of Scott's most notable roles was in The Thing from Another World, where he played the smaller version of The Thing, taking over for James Arnaz in The Creature's final scene.